What's up guys, it's King Daddy DMac, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft here on the Feed the Beast, Tame the Beast server. And oh man, have you ever seen anything so epic in your life? Oh, a stack of wither skeleton heads, wither skeleton skulls. That is amazing. Never thought I'd be able to hold that many at one time. Oh my god, I am loving this thing. Um, anyway, I was been testing out different ways of getting the skulls and uh, what's the most effective way. And I'm thinking this looting seems to be the absolute best way, but both these swords are about broke and they are real expensive to repair. And we have 76 levels. Oh my goodness. Let's go real quick. Do some enchantments. Try and get some more looting swords. Let's see, we'll make the swords here, because I'm not sure. Let's see, we'll make two more. I've been going through diamonds, though, grinding these guys out. So I wanted to see if there was another better way. Didn't really seem like it. Those potions, when I was doing the health potions. Let's see, we'll try the first one. Oh, yucky. And this one we'll try... How about the second one? Yes! Nice! Alright, that's perfect. Let's head back, let's head back. So yeah, the potions, I, it only seemed that I was doing 200 each time. And it seemed like I was only getting... Let's see here, maybe one or two per hundred. So that's pretty crappy. Um, the Nano Saber... I was getting a good amount from them, but looting seems to be the best, so let's find out. Let me show you a little bit about this trap, and we'll go through it all today. But anyway, um, I'm pretty ghetto right now. It's still not in its final form, just prototype. We have inconsistent falling damage, so that is not necessarily a good thing for um, being the most efficient. But anyway... This one right here closes a gate up top, and then this one is important. You want to kill out all of the normal skellies first. And this is just so that we can save on our looting sword and not hit guys that we don't care about hitting. So anyway, now we have all wither skulls. Because this gate is closed, no new normal skeletons will fall in. Let's just get rid of this. Oop, fall. And let's see how many new skulls we get. Man, oh man, we started out with nine, we have 18 now, so we got nine more, and that was another roughly 200. So it looks like looting is absolutely no contest, the way to go. We get all these freaking shorts, oh my god. But it just nails through those looting swords real quick, so it is a bit costly. It would have been nice if the potions and stuff to worked. I even tried doing the... Uh, splash poison, uh, 
poison potions just because of the inconsistent damage that was going on with these guys. But anyway, oh man, we are going to have to have one epic, 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 epic wither fight going on real soon. Let's just throw these away here. Anyway, we've got this loaded up again, and look at that. And then we can just go ahead and do it again. Anyway, let's go take a look at this thing. Um, do I have my... Let me get some of my other tools going on. But I am just loving this. Oh, God, I love Feed the Beast. I adore it. All right, are we good? Are we good? Good, okay. So, basically, this guy right here, just kind of out of laziness, I did this with uh, two spawners, because we only had two. Um, this is the one that's in that original skelly farm that I made. And I figured, why on earth would we need that farm when this is going to be the ideal place to go farming for both XP and anything skeleton related? Hopefully this will stop the spawning. Now, because of this, laying them out like this is going to obstruct the least amount of spawning space between the two of them. But we get inconsistent falling damage because they're falling from two different heights. And unfortunately, get out of here. Get out of here! Unfortunately... Oh, I'm withered. Ugh. You're not able to make a miscraft portal that's the full size of what we need. And this is, what, 8, 9 by 9, I think? So, good enough, though. I was curious about maybe trying trampolines here and seeing if that would nerf the damage. But it's no biggie. Then, as soon as they go through this portal, and I actually will demonstrate it, we got to kill off all those other withers first. I had to light it up so that they wouldn't keep spawning. Alright, alright, guys. Might as well get out our looting and do that again. It's not too many this time, only a couple. Hopefully, though, we might be able to get another skull or two out of this. Uh-oh, somebody... Pigman! You little punk. <laughs> That's hilarious. We got pigmen spawning in here. Alright, so... Hurry up. Ooh. Thank you. Not bad. And no more wither skulls. Oh well. Okay, so what this guy does is when they go through, they spawn... They fall through here, and I really like that I was able to combine the portals at least and just use one book. But then they end up right here, fall down, and once if I had these at the same level, I could adjust it so that we could get them to a one-hit kill, or at least close to a one-hit kill. But then they're trapped right in here, and we can do our business. Now right there you notice we have a half slab, and that's because the wither guys... If it's only on one block, it will actually crush them as well when I do this one to crush the normal skellies. So we got to bring them up just a half block extra. And then that will suffocate slash crush the skellies, normal ones, and the withers will be fine. So very cool. Now as I find more spawners, we're going to expand this. And I want to make this into either a quad one all at the same level so we can get consistent falling damage. Or I may even just do it like this for eight of them. And that would be insane. My goodness. Anyway, uh, pretty soon I'm going to be opening up this uh, skilly farm to the public, to the rest of the guys on the server. But we want to have our epic wither boss fight first. Anyway, uh, let's head back to the overworld and check out some other things I've been up to.
Ooh, before I forget, one last thing I wanted to comment. You may have noticed how I got one, it seemed like I killed one guy and all of a sudden he dropped most of those heads. Um, because wither skeletons are actually skeletons, they are able to pick up headgear. So they do pick up the wither skulls. And I was a little concerned that after they pick them up, they may not drop it again. But just to test, I did this with the pumpkin and see now one of them's wearing the pumpkin head when they're wearing the wither skull head you can't really tell because it's their same head but here we can tell with the pumpkin now my concern was will i always get that pumpkin back and after doing some testing and i did this quite a few times you know he'll drop it someone else may pick it back up again but i should always get the pumpkin back as a drop you see another guy picked it up another guy picked it up but eventually once we get to the end, we should have this pumpkin back in our inventory. Looks like none of them, only a some of them are able to pick it up. Not everyone. Maybe like one-fourth of them are able to. But here, after that, and boom, we have the pumpkin back. So that's a definite. I tested it out enough times so we don't have to worry. But just in case some people were wondering, you don't actually get more than a single Wither Skull drop from a guy. It's just one guy's picked up several of them. Alright, back at the base. So I don't think we have any new machines since last time. So we're not going to have to go over that. I did make a full set of nano suit armor. So pretty dope and I'm really liking them. The boots even actually absorb your shock when you're falling. I'm just still wearing my rubber boots so that I can get them all charged back up to a nice high level. Always nice to have. Added in just a little eensy beensy little melon and pumpkin farm. Just here just for doing enchanting and so I could get those pumpkins to test out on the withers. But anyway, I did end up making... Let's see, a quarry world. So let's go check that out. Now, I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do for my main base world yet. I'm still looking through all the comments you guys left. But anyway, this is so far my biggest quarry setup yet. I was going to do a full quad quarry, but um, ended up going a little shy of that. These quarry machines cost so many diamonds. So I made two more, and we now have simultaneously going three quarries which i think is pretty cool i want to make sure i get my return on my investment what is it eight nine ten eleven diamonds i think per quarry machine so i just dropped a crap ton of diamonds but anyway got the water going in on there so the lava doesn't stop it and i've had this running now for almost 24 hours straight and i'm pretty confident with these combustion engines running on fuel not really worried about them exploding anymore thanks to these uh, aqueous uh, accumulators. They seem to do a pretty good job. Don't really have to worry about the tanks. I have been getting comments about you guys telling me I should switch to. I think th these... I'm not sure what type of tanks these are. If these are the build craft and then there's another type. But there are other types of tanks. I will end up switching to those once I'm comfortable with them. But set up now a second little refinery. There's a nice little oil thing over here. I've already pumped out all the oil out of it. So, yeah, it goes really high to the sky. And have it pumped over, just using redstone pumps, because there's no real need to go super quick. And then right over to here, this is... I stopped it, so I think this is going to be enough oil. And then the refinery is doing up. And it's going at a good pace. Again, only being powered with the redstone engines and then the excess power because this is enough engines to run four quarries just run them but i have the excess power instead of going to a fourth quarry to the refinery and it is just chugga chugging along just barely keeping up with the fuel anyway um today what i wanted to try and do is play with some more mistcraft stuff because we just started getting into that as of right now I have everything going into these three chests. And they probably don't have to worry about them filling up. Doing just the three quarries. But just in case. And also because it's a pain in the butt. To have to go grab a full thing of ores. And then bring them back. And go back and forth. 
I want to try and play with the Mistcraft to see if we can have these all pump and just dump out into a portal and then have that portal go pop out at our base. And there's a cool new type of pipe that we can use that will pick up everything dropped from the portal. So anyway, let me get all the equipment ready, all the materials ready, and we will go test that out. All right, so let's just really quickly look at different pipes and we'll get to what we're gonna be working with today. Um, so far, we've mainly worked with golden pipes, which of course are, give the speed boosts for items when they come out and they go do, do, do. Then we use diamond pipe, which are the filters so that we can say, all right, we want you to go this way, you to go this way and you to go this way, so just like that. And we can say, depending on the color coding, what items we want to go what way. We've used void pipes like this to uh, make sure that all the cobble, gravel, and stuff like that, because we have so much of it, and dirt is all just going into the void and being thrown away. Now, a couple of other types of pipes that are interesting. Um, we've also been using the stone, mostly the stone transport pipes which are a little bit more cost costly than cobblestone. But um, the interesting thing is if you use stone pipes and then let's say right here use cobblestone pipes, they do not connect with each other. So that can be very useful to have the two different kinds. However, in some cases you may want them not to connect, but then you end up wanting them to connect another place. And that's where you have this really neat other type of pipe that's useful for connecting them and that is sandstone pipe. And here we can connect the two different types of stone pipes together at any place and they become one. Then also we have iron pipes. I played with these a little bit I believe. And um, what iron pipes do, let's see, does the iron pipe connect these two pipes as well? Ah, it does. So I guess, I don't know if sandstone is just a cheaper way of doing it or what. There may be another use for sandstone. But anyway, then we have the iron pipe. And the iron pipe is basically we can put blockers so that if we have an item going through here, it will go through here. And then because of this thicker part, it's saying, oh, can't go that way and can't go that way. Got to continue down straight. Now we can take our little wrench we can change how we want it. So now items can come in through here and go into there, but they can't backtrack this way. So that can be very useful as well. Now let's see, what other types of pipes? So I think that's everything that we've done so far. We're gonna try one other new type of pipe, which is called obsidian pipe. Let me just put all these bad boys away. And the obsidian pipe is very, very unique. I guess you can't be very unique, but it is it is unique. All right, so with obsidian pipe, let's see if I need this hooked up to an engine. You can't connect two in a row, so you just need one obsidian pipe. So let's grab another type of pipe here. Use the stone transport pipe and let's grab Oh yeah, and I didn't show you the wood. The wood's important because only the wood can connect. As you see right here, we have wooden, wooden, those are co the conductive. Um, only the wooden can connect to an engine or pump. So anyway, let's see. All right, so I have this stone going right here and it has this unique property that it's able to suck items through it. So let's see here, will that work? may have to hook it up to a pump first. Oh, look at that. So it will take loose items and suck it through. It's very neat. So, in doing this, and I'm curious if, I don't think I need a pump for it at all. But we'll find out. Now it doesn't have a very long range to it. You see right there, it's not sucking them up. Hmm. So I'm curious, if we add a pump to it right here, we'll just add a redstone engine. I usually refer to those as pumps. Let's see, grab a lever. 
All right, so now that's pumping. I'm curious, will this suck up any faster? All right, so it's got to be quite close to it. Now let's try this. Uh, where's my stone pipe? All right, so if I have stone pipe here, and I guess we'll have the obsidian pipe right like that. All right, and then let's cover this back up. Now, if we have items then going and shooting out and dropping directly on it, that seems to be the best way to do it. Awesome. And then they just pump out the other end. I probably don't even need this pump. Let's try it one more time without the pump. Right, and just shoot you in. So it's got to be practically touching the thing. Yeah, so we don't need any type of pump for this to work. So that is always good. It's always nice when I don't have to make things more complicated than they have to be. Awesome. So this is going to be end up being our receiving end of this thing over here. So... Let me go grab some crystals. And actually, let's first, yeah, let me go grab some crystals and let's make a book for where we want these items to end up. All right, we're getting so cramped on space here. I ended up making another overhang to our base. We really need to move soon. But I always love just being up in the air because we have as much space as we need. Anyway, one more thing I wanted to test real quick just wanted to make sure that this obsidian pipe good it does connect into the chest and if we just go like that awesome it'll suck stuff straight into the chest perfect that is exactly what we want exactly what we want all right so where should we have the items pop back in how about right over here seems like a decent place so I'm gonna have the obsidian pipe be right hmm right here maybe okay and then we will have where are you where are you I didn't bring all my other pipes probably gonna end up wanting to switch to gold later but now let's go like this and like that how about that looks good, good to me. All right, so let's try this out. Let's throw this dirt back. Okay. And I'm going to stand right. Actually, let's stand right here. Let's make one of these books. Okay, so we've got a linking book. Whenever we go to that book, it'll bring us right to this spot that we're standing right now. Now, hopefully the subsidian pipe can still be there. All right, now let's go test this out. Um, let's throw this chest right here, and then I'll grab some more of those diamond chests and throw them on the other side. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're back at the quarry world now. Um, here, let's move these around a little bit. Let's see. Green, black, okay, perfect. So we can just knock this guy out here. All right, and now while we're getting things situated, all the items will go to those chests. I should probably move all this stuff to those other chests, so maybe I'll do that real quick. Okay, that's much better. So let's pick up this diamond chest right here. Let's get rid of this cobblestone. And we're going to make it so that it, right here, it's going to dump straight down into the portal. So if that's the case, this is going to have to be all cleared out here to make room for a portal. Let's move this guy over just one. Let's see. 
I think you, I can probably, I'm just going to dump him right here for now. And that's our world anchor, of course, so that this, all these chunks stay loaded while I'm gone. And I'm a little concerned, I'm just probably going to make this portal bigger than I need to, but just in case it spits out funny. Alright, so we'll go like this. And one more over. Alright, awesome. Now we can just take our little receptacle thing. I think we can go like that. We have the book that we made. I went back to spawn and made it a linking book that won't ever be dropped. Alright, cool. And then when we throw items in here, just going to pop through. And they should, if this worked correctly, have been sucked up right in there. Awesome! And end up over here. So let's go, let's throw down some more of these. Just because we don't want our stuff to fill up. And let's throw down this diamond chest as well. I actually shouldn't put this one down, otherwise items will go this way and just end out on the ground. So now let's try and hook the whole thing into it. Let's head back to the quarry. Is that it? Yep. Awesome. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy right there. Knock you out and you out. Let's see, make sure all the items go correctly. Now it's important that I have a world anchor here so that this will continue going. Oh, there goes something else. Pop, awesome. So I guess we can even knock these out now. Let's see, I disconnected those. Throw them right through the portal. Alright, this may take a second, so I'll see you back when it's <laughs> when I've done. Alright, so I threw everything through. We got our other chest that we can now pick up. Awesome, and let's go hop back through and see what's going on. All right, it looks like everything's gone through so far. So, so far, so good. Again, I'm probably gonna wanna upgrade that possibly to gold cable. Let's throw down our other two chests though. Just cause these are probably filling up. Let's see, first in here, nice. And in here, oh, this is freaking awesome. I love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, get a little bit of lag when that goes through, so I might want this a little bit further away. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, let's throw in some more chests. We've got room for one more. All right, so it's just going to randomly decide which one to go in. We'll have to do something around it so it's not as visible. But yeah, this is pretty, pretty freaking neat. Ah, oh, so now I don't even have to go back and visit my quarry. It's uh, right now pretty much, I have to check on the fuel every so often because it's not feeding in fuel indefinitely. But uh, once I stop hearing items going through, then I will know that uh, I guess that it's done. But I will never have to go back and transport stuff again. So I think next time we might might have to start making a machine that will go through. We'll uh, macerate them, cook them, and then dump them out finally into the correct chest. We're going to have to move all these chests too. So I may wait until we have our new dimension chosen so keep on letting me know what you guys want to see for my uh base dimension to be i'm really liking what you guys have to say but um yeah i think that's gonna about do it for today's episode 
So as always, comment, like, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please give a big old thumbs up because it does help me get better noticed on YouTube for my Minecraft. And yeah, peace out.